do I have a doozy for everyone today. Okay, so what are we talking about? The Pimax Crystal, eye racing at native resolution. Frame capped at 120 hertz. All right, so the Pimax Crystal at the moment at native resolution has no equal. It is by far the clearest, most colorful, just best headset on the market, okay? So how do we get there? I'm not trying to fool anyone, I do have a very, very beefy PC. I'll link the specs up above me here, as you can see. There's not much else that I could do to make it, make it quicker, but it is possible. So we're gonna dive into the settings here and have a look how I made it happen. But, but first, I have to credit, I stumbled across a Facebook post, which took me to an iRacing thread, where there are a heap of users that have gone through the optimal settings that you wanna use in NVIDIA control panel, iRacing settings, as well as the OpenXR toolkit. Alrighty guys, well, I'm gonna jump into the sim and we'll show you how we got there. All credit to Bryce Boyven, as well as another member of this post, Mark Crooks, who have done a heap of research. So, um, as you can see, he has a 13700K with a 4090. Uh, I believe that my computer is slightly stronger. I can definitely attain 120 hertz at the native resolution. So basically, if you wanna scroll down through this page, you can copy all his settings and you should see comparable results to what I'm getting. Um, I will go through what I have set up. Um, there's a little bit of a crossover between this initial post as well as a bit more of a deeper look into some of the different settings. Okay, so let's jump into the NVIDIA control panel here. And basically, these are the settings that I have. Now, you have to make sure that you point the 3D settings at the iRacing 64 DX11 EXE, not the UI. So you'll have to add this one separately so that it can access it. And basically, the main ones here, the anti-aliasing mode, enhance the application setting okay so if you don't get that you won't have these other two options so the setting you want to set to two times and two times super sample for the transparency so this was the biggest one for getting rid of the shimmers in the distance for me even at native resolution you do see some shimmering in the distance okay so low latency mode on prefer prefer maximum performance in the power management we want to clamp that negative load bias as well as disabling the trilinear tri optimization. Okay, then it's just VSync off and change our virtually re virtual reality pre-rendered frames to two. So this was up for discussion. It does get a bit smoother if you make it higher, but it is at the expense of latency. So, all right, let's jump into the sim now and have a look what we're dealing with. Just gonna put the headset on. As I mentioned, I'll show you uh, looking up there at the frame counter. So I actually also have a uh, OpenXR toolkit showing me the frame timings. And I am looking at a CPU frame timing of 1.6 ms and GPU of 5.8. So I have plenty in hand, which is how you attain 120 hertz in packed fields. Um, don't mind me, I currently haven't reorganized the <laughs> overlays because I uh, haven't been running this for too long, but absolutely amazing amazing image so let's um let's just hit pause let's just hit pause and have a look around here okay so um have a look at those tires i don't know if it's really clear i should even do a tear off but this is absolutely phenomenal i i, I cannot explain to you guys how good this actually looks Alrighty guys, so I'm going to jump into my settings here, here, and what you're going to see is quite a lot of low settings. Now, I find at this resolution, I don't need all that much detail, okay? So, what I do want to see nice and clear is the cars, okay? So, skybox, I don't care about. Cars, definitely need. Pit objects, I find this is actually a decent hit to the CPU, so I've turned that one off. Um, not really required event low detail grandstands and crowds off now these you can put on but if you're on a track like long beach or something like that even fuji which i've just finished my eight hour on these can actually have a decent hit on the uh frame timing so i turn them off <clears throat> my pardon. okay so 
everything else here i have a customized lod setup um as i mentioned I, i'll link the forum below but there are information on how to get in and edit all of your ini files and everything for that using fxaa sharpening at two times and the big one here which makes all of those shimmers in the distance disappear like i cannot see a single shimmer like in headset this is absolutely phenomenal never experienced it in my life but that setting is called anti-aliasing transparency now i only have that set to two times which is basically super sampling the anti-aliasing but that is enough to make every single one of those shimmers in the distance disappear now as you can tell i'm still gobsmacked just looking around um so yeah these are my settings um you can't see but basically all i have uh in my actual open xr toolkit is i'm running cas at 100 percent now that's very subjective some people don't like cas um and basically at the moment i'm running a wide mask for the uh, fixed phobia to rendering in performance mode okay so as i mentioned it's not required if you aren't recording you won't need it if you have a beefy uh, cpu and the 4090 um if you do have some cpu headroom and not so much gpu you can most definitely use eye tracked foveata rendering okay so if you use the eye tracked foveata rendering i would recommend uh once again performance in either balanced or wide um i do find that the narrow i do start to see some things in my peripherals that i don't like so I'm just going through them now and you you may even be able to see i can uh, actually show you what this looks like if we go to cal okay so basically how this works is as you can see i'm culling the middle ring basically it has rings that it's rendering and the wider you go the less resolution that it is actually rendering so absolutely fantastic uh work here by mobuchia thank him again for this but um yeah basically in the uh Pimax settings all you have to do is enable 120 hertz mode and away you go alrighty guys well we'll wrap it up here if you like the content please consider giving it a thumbs up if you loved it please consider subscribing we're very close to a thousand subscribers once we hit that mark it's it's going to be amazing um really loving the growth of the channel and thank you everyone so much for the support if this has helped you guys please leave a comment if you'd like me to add anything to this video feel free to let me know down in the comment section Alrighty guys, until next time, I've been Josh Sawina from Player One Sim Gear. Get out there, have some great races.